Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, this time focused on one of your favourite and most asked for topics, footwear. So what I'm going to do today is show you different types of summer dressing for different sort of climates. Um, just a reminder that I do live in England, so most of my wardrobe is catered to a British summer. However, these are as well summer outfits for kind of everywhere that you can adapt. And these are going to be basic rules around footwear. I find it quite difficult, not difficult, but I think the idea of rules is quite controversial in some ways. But actually, there are so many women and men out there who really, really want to dress the best they can, but maybe don't quite know where to begin. And what I want to do is demonstrate how to do that within your own wardrobe and share with you the tips and things that I've learnt of how to balance your outfits and how to make them work. So then you've got the basics. Um, to kind of springboard off. Fashion is very much like interiors. Um, some people get quite fussy about, oh, there's no such thing as rules, but actually it's all about the idea of balance and shapes and proportions um, and shoes really, really fall into that category. So I've got four styles of summer shoes for you. I'm going to very briefly talk about each style. So the first is this pair of Todd's loafers. These are a lighter colored loafer. I probably wouldn't wear darker loafers in summer. So that's why I went for these. They can be kind of included under the workwear category as well. Loafers can still be worn in summer, but I would personally opt for a lighter pair. Another style of summer shoe I gravitate towards a lot is a ballet flat. Again, something lighter, and you'll see that that's kind of the common theme within these shoes. Doesn't always necessarily have to be, but I do tend um, to gravitate towards those lighter colors in summer. So these are from Arquette. I went up a size in these, really comfortable leather ballet flats. So I didn't want to complicate things too much and I kept it at four pairs of shoes, which I think kind of cover quite a nice range. So my next is the category of a delicate strappy sandal, um, like these Tiki's ones um, that I've got from net porte They're always sold out. Um, I went up a size in these. They are a little bit big, but I think for sandals you don't really notice. But yeah, I just love these. I've worn them so much since I got them um, and they're really, really comfortable too. So if you can get your hands on these, you probably have more availability in the US, but they're a really, really good option. And then finally, I wanted to include a chunkier sandal. Obviously, they are still a very big thing at the moment. Um, I don't have the Chanel ones, but I do have these Russell and Bromley ones that kind of fit that category of a chunkier style, and they can be notoriously difficult to style up. So it should be helpful that these are included within this video. So the way I'm going to work this video is by kind of do's and don'ts. Um, and actually for this video, I don't think there's any like mega, mega don'ts. I'd say it's more of a scale of less flattering to most flattering. So we'll just kind of call it do's and don'ts, but I'm going to show you different styles of summer outfits and kind of categories of outfits and then what I think, what shoe pairs the best with it and why, of course, because you need to know why so that you can apply it to your own wardrobe. Let's start with the concept of something shorter and tighter. So for my example, I've gone for a play suit, but this definitely applies to a shorter, tighter dress and also um, maybe a tighter skirt with a tighter top. So let's talk about shoes. Now, what I don't think goes with them are the chunkier style of shoe. So I've tried them on with the Todd's loafers and they just feel far too heavy for this very short, tight dress. Now, I talk a lot about the idea of contrast dressing, which basically means taking one style and contrasting it with a different style and pairing them together. So basically that creates a look that's not too try hard or too kind of one of the same style. However, I do think you can go too extreme with the idea of contrast dressing. So you've got the very chunky style of loafer, not very chunky, but a chunkier structured loafer with that short, tight, summery 
style of outfit is just too much of a contrast. It jars and it just doesn't look right together. And I think the same applies to the ballet flats. They feel a little bit too structured. The closed toe on them with this very summery look just I feel doesn't contrast very nicely. Now I would pair this look with sandals but something shorter and tighter to me needs something a little bit more delicate so I wouldn't go for the chunky sandals either. I think again it makes the outfit too bottom heavy and takes a lot of the focus away from the top of the outfit and Actually, if you had this outfit on or something short and tight, maybe with a blazer over your shoulders like this, then you could get away with the chunkier sandal. So what I'm basically saying here is that you would need um, a bit more of a balance in the outfit because the outfit's very uh, light and feminine on top and not got any of the heaviness of this chunky sandal to bring up to the top. So what I would do instead is, opt for the Tiki's sandals as my winning shoe because they're more delicate so they fit in better with the feel of the outfit. They don't then become too bottom heavy. The focus isn't just on the shoes because I don't think that's what you want a shoe to be. You don't want the outfit centered just on the shoes. Um, you want it all to balance nicely. And these do that within that outfit. They match the kind of flowy, shorter, more delicate feel of a short dress or a play suit um, or something very, very summery like this. You could even even apply it to kind of short shorts and a strappy top. Okay, my next summer look is some long flowy trousers with a shirt. Doesn't have to be these exact pieces, but the concept of like a looser, wider leg trouser, which I actually wear a lot um, when it's not baking hot. This is kind of an outfit I would gravitate towards. Um, so let's talk about shoes and these style of trousers in particular. So we've got the ballet flats on for the first look with the trousers and I just don't feel like they look right. I think, again, maybe the closed toe shape of these shoes with the very light wide trousers just feels a little bit too much of a juxtaposition. Um, I think they feel a little bit too structured. Um, with these very loose flowing trousers. I'm obsessed with these trousers, by the way. I've been looking for a pair like this for ages and I just got them, uh, it's called, it's a brand on net porte called Officine Generale. So um, yeah, they're from there. They're in the sale and I love them. Anyway, side note, um, I don't think they go with the ballet flats. Now, veering on to the loafers. I actually don't mind these trousers with the loafers. I think because they're the very whitey color, they blend quite nicely in with the stripe of the trousers, so they don't feel too heavy. However, I think a loafer with these trousers wouldn't be the option I'd go for immediately. Again, I think they are a little bit too structured with this very loose, like summery style of trouser. What I would instead go for talking about sandals, is the chunkier sandal. I think they create that nice in-between. You've got a trouser on, so you've got a bit of structure to the outfit. I think because of the loose flowing fabric, you need something like a pair of sandals to fit in nicely with the style of outfit that you're going for. So these chunkier, light colored ones blend really nicely with the outfit. They also, let's talk about color balancing here, balance with the white shirt on top um, and the bag. So we've got a bit of kind of color balance. We've got not, it's not too bottom heavy. Say if I had black sandal, imagine the, these exact sandals in black. The whole outfit would totally change. So colors are really important. Um, I've spoken many times about color balancing and proportions and things like that, but um, that is, Definitely another factor to consider in your footwear is balancing out the colors in your outfit and not going for something like a black pair of sandals when all the rest of your outfit doesn't have any dark color in it at all. I definitely think you need to bring some of that dark color to the top, even if it's just kind of in a belt or a bag or sunglasses or something, um, you need that color balance. But anyway, these lighter chunky sandals, I think, go nicely with the structure of the shirt and the wider trousers, but also because they're sandals, um, they match the more summery feel of the look. 
So let's talk about jeans. I do go for jeans in the summer. As I say, it's a British summer um, and not everywhere in the world is baking hot in summer. So I did want to bring some of that through to this video as well to cater for everybody. So the next look is this pair of jeans. I often go towards jeans in the summer because I think they look so nice just with a shirt like the one I'm wearing from Under the Stories. This is a new shirt, but just the kind of tougher jeans with the prettier blouse um, or a shirt, I always think is a really nice look for slightly cooler days. And it's actually raining here today, so I think it would be too cold to even wear this outfit. <laughs> but um, for the most part, jeans are really useful for the summer for me. However, I do think with a chunky pair of sandals, like I'm styling um, the Russell and Bromley ones in this outfit. The chunkier sandals just feel a little bit too heavy for me. And I think with a chunky sandal, you've got to be careful, especially with a very pretty top that short sleeves like this, that the outfit kind of becomes too bottom heavy if you've got chunky sandals with it. So um, I would say the chunkier sandals I think would look better with a blazer in the jeans or a long, uh, more oversized shirt and the jeans. So that's something to consider as well, what top you're wearing. Often I really like to balance the top with my shoes. So say I'll go for a chunkier sandal with like a more oversized top and then a slimmer middle, if that makes sense. But in this outfit with a slightly more summery top, I think the chunky sandals just feel a little bit too bottom heavy. So I really like pairing ballet flats with denim. They're really comfortable. And actually, if we're talking about weather-wise, um, usually if you're wearing jeans, then you might not want to wear sandals because it might not be so warm of a day. So a ballet flat just gives you a little bit more protection on your foot. Um, and I just really like the contrast. So this is where I think contrast dressing does apply. Um, the contrast between the jeans and the feminine sandals, there's not too much of a contrast in there. It's not like a really, really tough pair of trousers with a really, really delicate shoe, but there's just a nice contrast between the two of them. I just think it looks chic and I don't know, I just think the ballet flats are a really easy way to style your jeans in the summer because they're flattering with the ankle on show. Yeah, they feel smart, but not over the top and not too structured. And then if you did want to go for a sandal, I'd again go for the Tiki's, the more elegant, strappier sandal. Um, again, it's, it's very much the same thing as the ballet flat. It's a little bit more delicate and feminine, contrasted against the tougher denim. Um, whereas I think the chunky ones didn't provide that contrast. Um, so it just felt too bottom heavy and this kind of creates a bit more balance. And the delicate shoes balance nicely with this more feminine ruffled style top. And then you've got the more masculine, tougher style of jeans in the middle. So let's talk about shirt dresses um, and just kind of midi dresses in general that are maybe not like really, really summery dresses. So I've got this shirt dress on here and I did want to show that you don't always have to wear your dresses with sandals. Actually, for one, I think these would look really nice with trainers, but they're not necessarily topical for this video. They're not just a summer shoe. So I've tried the ballet flats on with this shirt dress. And I don't know, I feel like these ballet flats might be a little bit too feminine with the flowy dress um, if you wanted to wear closed toe shoe. Let's ignore sandals here because I think this dress would go with most sandals. But if we wanted to go for a closed toe shoe, especially for workwear in the summer, I know a lot of us struggle with summer workwear. I will do a topic, I will do a video on that. I think you can pair your shirt dress with a closed toe shoe, but I'm not sure about the ballet flat. I just feel like they're a bit too feminine, yeah, with the dress. And I think what would be nicer in this scenario are the loafers. So I think with these loafers being off-white, they really are so versatile for summer and they don't feel too heavy. Loafers traditionally are quite clumpy, really. <laughs> um, quite structured in the shape of the shoe, but with them being a lighter color, I think they look nice. I think they work really nicely with the shirt dress because especially for workwear, I think we've got a bit of structure with the shirt dress 
but it's still loose and flowing and then we've got a bit of structure with the shoes as well and I think they just pair really nicely together and I did just want to show that you can still wear your loafers with dresses and this rule definitely applies to maybe like a looser and a-line style of skirt maybe I think the ballet flats would feel a little bit feminine maybe a little bit outdated whereas the loafers feel quite cool and modern and fresh and a little bit masculine with the kind of flowier style of body bottom, longer skirt, longer dress like this. You could go for like a looser flowing skirt. I think kind of a cotton or like a stiffer cotton or stiffer linen um, would look really nice with this um, as opposed to very, very soft fabrics like satin or silk, I think are too flowing and loose for the loafers. I think you need a fabric with a little bit of structure in to make the loafers work. So the final look that I'm gonna talk about, the final summer look to pair with your shoes is this that I'm wearing now, but without the blazer. So let's talk about a pair of longer shorts with something like a tank top or a strappy top. Just a really simple summer outfit. And what shoes I think pair nicely with it because I do think sometimes with a longer style or like a Bermuda-y short, the footwear can be a little bit tricky because it can make your legs look shorter. So let me, for example, show you what I mean. So I've got the ballet flats on here with it. And I actually think the flats, um, these style of flats, don't really elongate your legs very well. I think it's because of the rounded toe of the ballet flat, um, just kind of stunts the leg a little bit. So when you've got this kind of weird mid-length cut off here, and then you've kind of got the cut off at your shoe, you're instantly kind of creating blocks of your legs. You've got one block here, one block here, and that can make your leg look shorter. So that's definitely something to be aware of if you are kind of petite or maybe, or if you want to elongate your legs, um, then I'd probably avoid ballet flats with a longer short. I do, however, think they look really nice with shorter shorts. Just be careful um, if you're wearing this kind of length because I do think they can be a little bit stunting almost. Is that the right word? Stunting. As for sandals, I do think these kind of um, shorts go with most style of sandals, to be honest, and definitely I think the sandals we've got here can be included in that, but I also wanted to show this outfit with the loafers because I do actually think the loafers work with this outfit. So I'll explain why. So one, I think the fact that the loafers are the same color as the outfit itself um, just keeps it feeling more elongating and streamlined. Another thing is that the loafers are a little bit slimmer and longer than their ballet flats. So they bring the eye a little bit further down. And although it's such a tiny, tiny detail, the shape of the shoe can really alter how your eye sees the outfit. So um, I think that works. But I also think really importantly are accessories and how you combine your accessories with your shoes. Um, so for example here, I've got my Loewe basket bag on, but also my Demelier um, kind of white, more of a structured box bag. So um, what I'm doing here is kind of showing you the importance of the accessories because I do think with the loafers, I don't think the uh, Loewe bag works as well. Um, I think the Loewe would be nicer with more of a sandal with this outfit. The loafers need a bit of structure in the outfit to balance them out. Otherwise, we could be at risk of this outfit looking a little bit bottom heavy um, with the chunkier loafer. So to bring in the Demelier bag, which is kind of this boxy shape, it's a bit more structured, adds a bit more of an edge and just a bit more heaviness almost to the top of the outfit, especially because we've got a very strappy top on. So to bring that kind of box bag to the top of the outfit just balances out those shoes and it is so subtle um, that I think most of us don't even think about these things, but when you break it down and when you break outfits down and why they work with different things, you really realize the importance of these small details. And hopefully this video will really highlight those subtle details to you so that you can apply these tips into your wardrobe. Everything will be linked below where possible. As you know, I do feature older pieces in my videos, um, but I'll let you know. I will link alternatives as well. Obviously, I can't, if it's an older piece, 
Um, I can't link an exact replica of my piece. So that's why I call them alternatives rather than similar. Okay, I think alternatives means to me like another option that works with what I've described or works with the outfit, works in the same way. But it might not be an exact replica because I can't, you can't find them online. You can't reproduce an exact replica if, if it's an older piece for the most part. Um, so that's what um, I do with my alternatives is suggest something that may not be the same, but it would still go with that look and have the same feel to it. So I hope that's been useful for you. If it has, do let me know. I know so many of you ask about footwear, so hopefully this has been useful. And let me know if there's anything from this video that you want me to branch off to in other videos. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, um, get us to 500K, and um, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.